What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. And today, I'm going to review some Beard Brand beard oils. Okay, I've seen a lot of questions. You guys want to know the difference between the white line and the silver line and the gold line. So what I want to do is break it down from what you can expect from the different lines as well as the different fragrances within the lines. So the first thing that I wanna say is consistent with all Beard Brand products is we set them to a higher standard than other competitors. That means our products are designed from the ground up, formulated in-house, and we only use the finest ingredients, the finest fragrances that we can get our hands on. But like everything in life, there's always varying degrees of fine. Think about a BMW versus a Rolls Royce. Both are excellent cars, but maybe the Rolls Royce just gives you a little bit better experience. Now our white line is our value line. We, we use natural ingredients like all of our products, but we're gonna use a little more cost-effective natural ingredients as a base formulation. In addition to that, fragrance, which makes up a big portion of the cost of a beard oil, is gonna be more on the simpler terms, I should say. For instance, Blank Slate is the most simple of our formulations. It does not have a fragrance at all. It is, uh, you just smell the natural oils. The middle ground, we've got Urban Garden, and Urban Garden is really kind of like a, a basil, fennel, anise type of fragrance. So if you like uh, licorice, you're really going to love Urban Garden. And then our most popular in our white line is the lumberyard. And this smells like Home Depot. When you go into Home Depot and you smell all that wood that's been chopped up, that's that. It's uh, sandalwood and cedar wood, a very woodsy, very, you know, popular fragrance. All right, now our most popular line is our silver line. And the silver line is really the products that kickstarted Beard Brand and really got us on the map. And they are a very broad range that gives you a lot of options and of course, our most popular line of our three lines. If you're looking for a more warmer fragrance, then Spice Citrus is gonna be the one you wanna go with. Spice Citrus is gonna hit you with uh, those clove notes, so that's got that, that spicy undertone to it, and then the citrus notes that are gonna hit you on top as well, just kinda of come together, and it really kinda of smells like Christmas in a bottle. Tea Tree, is really not like any other tea tree you've probably smelled before because it's not just tea tree. We blend tea tree with a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of peppermint to give a lot more dimension to it. And that's what you're really gonna notice with the silver line versus the white line is these notes are a little bit more complex. They give you a little bit more dimension to, uh, to your experience. And our most popular of the silver line is our Tree Ranger. I love this fragrance. Uh, in fact, a, a funny story about these. Each of these were developed by one of the co-founders. So Spice Citrus was done by Lindsay, Tea Tree was Jeremy, and Tree Ranger was yours truly. And Tree Ranger is our most popular one. And where the lumber yard is gonna be more on the cedar wood, sandal wood, kind of like the warmer wood fragrances, Tree Ranger is going to be on the lighter side, so the pine, the eucalyptus, and a little bit of cedar wood in there. Just gives it like a, a very refreshing uh, note. In addition to that, the tea tree, they're more on the cool side, whereas the spice citrus is going to be on the warm side. But I'd say kind of like your tea tree is going to be like right in the middle between warm and cool with those vanilla notes and the tea tree notes. Now at the top end of our line is the gold line. Get it? Gold, silver, white. I know. In the gold line, we use exotic ingredients for the fragrances, and that's where the cost comes from. It's a little bit more expensive to bring in some of these plants. For instance, let's take four vices. Four vices, we're using tobacco, cannabis, hops, and coffee. We blend it together to have this like very earthy, kind of subtle fragrance that um, stands out from um, really any other beard oil I've smelled out there. So it's something that you're gonna to have to be committed to, to 
almost like investing into and committing to to appreciating the fragrance because it's not going to be like that citrus light warm friendly fragrance or that typical woodsy fragrance that every other company makes including us four vices was our first gold line and then the next year we launched with temple smoke and temple smoke it gets the name because we used woods in the fragrance that are used in religious ceremonies so there are woods that are uh, burned for incense and in religious ceremonies around the world not any religion specifically but uh it gives you like this very like uh almost like a little smoky it's a it's definitely on the more subtle fragrance as well it's going to be a little more mellow a little bit uh darker deeper fragrance and a lot more of the base notes in there than you're going to get like the the high notes it's uh, one of my favorites. Of course, all of these are my favorites, but I do have some favorites more than others. So with old money, this is like the culmination of all that we've learned from making beard oils and all that we've learned from uh, bringing fragrances together. It is our most complex fragrance that we currently have in house. And it has like nice spicy notes like a uh, pepper, black pepper. And then we pair that together with the warmness of like a, a bourbon aged oak barrel. And it just comes together to, to almost be like a cologne replacement. And it's probably, um, well, it's become my favorite one, my go-to one. And I just love the complexity of the fragrance. So there you have it. That is the Beard Oil line from Beard Brand. Hope you enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers. Keep on growing. Now that you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products over on our shop. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to do that. And finally, keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.